Yes. Good morning, students. Welcome to the mathematics class. In the last video, we are discussing actually. Okay. So, example problems related to nth term of an AP. Right now. So, we have finished. We have finished only three example problems related to nth term of an AP. So, we have got the idea of the definition of arithmetic progression. Okay. So, then general form of the arithmetic progression and we are discussing the general term that is nth term of the AP. So, nth term of an AP is an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So, using that nth term of an AP, we are working the problems related to nth term of an AP. So, we are discussing the problems from the last class now. So, we will continue that discussion in this class also. So, now we have to discuss example 6. Just we will glance the solution part. How they uh, solved okay, the problem. So, you just go through that example 6 here. Example 6 question. Check whether 301 is a term of the list of numbers 5, 11, 17 and 23 so on. Okay. So, try to understand the problem first. Check whether 301 is a term of the list of numbers. This A, B. Okay. So, we have to check. What we have to check here actually? We have to check whether 301 comes in this AP. We have to check. How can we check? So, 301 is the AP. So, we have to find out N. So, if we got the positive integer in place of n, then we can give the conclusion that yes, of course, 301 is a term of this AP. Otherwise, if we got any negative number or decimal expansion fraction form, so we can say that 301 is not a term of the list of numbers. Got the idea now? Okay. So, n we have to find out. n must be positive integer. So, then only we can say that 301 is a term of the list of numbers. So, now to get n, how to find out n when AP is given? So, already you have got the idea. Still, we will work out this problem. First, we have to calculate. So, first we have to check whether this forms an AP or not. Very important concept. So, first we have to check whether the given list of number is an AP or not. To check, we have to find out the common difference. That is A2 minus A1, then A3 minus A2, then A4 minus A3. So, here they have worked out that problem. A2 minus A1 is 6. A3 minus A2 is also 6. A4 minus A3 is also 6. So, now, so we can observe that difference is same in the sense this forms an AP. We can give the conclusion that the given list of numbers, this is a sequence, okay, which forms an AP. So, now in this AP, we have to check whether 301 comes or not. So, for that, first we have to take the first term A. A is equal to 5 and D is equal to 6. A is equal to 5 and D is equal to 6. Just we have to use the general term that is An is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. Now, An, An is we have to check whether 301 is a term. So, then what we have to take? We have to take An is 301. So, now we have to take an, of course, an 301 n namaga positive integer bandrai first. So, that's why we are taking an only 301, which is equal to a value is 5 plus n is unknown. So, that only we have to work out here, minus 1 into d is 6. Now, just work out this one, 301 is equal to 5 plus so, n into 6 is 6n, then minus 1 into 6 is minus 6, minus 6 plus 5 is minus 1, so 6n minus 1. Here, one step is missing actually, so then while writing in your notes, so you can uh, write that step also, or you can write the answer like this also, direct step, mind calculation. 5 plus 6n minus 6, then next step you will get 6n minus 1. 
Now just to transfer this one to this side, minus one to this side, then you will get 300, okay? Sorry, three not two. So minus one, when it comes to this side, then it is plus one. Then three not one plus one is three not two. Therefore, n is equal to three not two divided by six. That is 151 uh, divided by three. One. So here we got the n is in the form of 151 divided by three. So, n should be a positive integer, but here we got the fraction form that 151 by 3. So, it is not divisible now exactly. So, that's why we cannot say, we can say that, so 301 is not a term of the given list of numbers. Got the idea now? So, 151 by 3 and 3, you will get decimal form. form. But we need the exact location, first term, second term, third term, fourth term, like that, up to nth term. So, n must be positive integer. But here we got 151 by 3. So, that's why our conclusion is 301 is not a term of this list of numbers. Got the idea of this problem, the students? Yes. So, we are moving to next problem, example 7. Very, very important. Okay. How many two-digit numbers are divisible by 3? The question is simple question. How many two-digit numbers are divisible by 3? So, divisible by 3 in the sense 3 table we have to. Okay. Remember. So, two-digit number. They are asking about the uh, two-digit number. So, divisible by 3, two-digit number, first number is actually, yes, 3, 4 are 12. In the 3 table, we can observe that 12 is the first two-digit number which is divisible by 3. So, that we have to list out actually. It's 12. So, then uh, number after 12, 15 is divisible by 3. Then 18 is divisible by t, uh, 3. So on up to 99 is the last num last two digit number that is divisible by 3. Okay. So using this given hint, we have to form this AP. Okay. Two digit numbers divisible by 3. Starting number is 12 only. So then last number is 99. How many two digit numbers? So then what we have to find here, find out 12, 15, 18, if the 99th and the continue again, how are the yesh numbers there? 12 in the 99th and the yes to numbers were the two digit numbers. Yen we have to find out. So you can say that Madhaji Nam Yege Maggi Barkwalta Ho Bodhu, Table Barkwalta Ho Bodhu, 99th and the Amal Count Maad Bodhu. Yes, of course, but it takes lot of time. So we need Fada Fat answer. 12, 15, 18, so on up to 99 is the last number, okay? 12 is the first number. So, from this only we can easily guess the answer. How many numbers comes under 12 and 99, okay? Uh, 12 to 99. So, then what we have to find here, of course, n, number of terms. n stands for the number of terms. So, is this an AP? First, we have to ask that question here. In the question, it is not mentioned uh, this is an AP, no? So, but of course, this forms an AP because we are listing the numbers which is divisible by 3 in the sense difference is 3 only. Yes, of course, it forms an AP. In that AP, first term is 12 and the difference 3 and AN. AN is the last term of the AP, nth term. Already we know the nth term. Why 99 is last term? Because the question is two digit number. The div number divisible by three, two digit number, last number is 99 only. Okay. So that's why an is equal to 99. To find the number of terms in the given AP, so we have to use the general term an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. Now an we know 99, a is 12 plus n minus 1 into d plus 3 we have to substitute. Then, so here the simplification and all you have got the idea of the students. 12 plus n into 3 is 3 and then minus 3. So then here simplification then transferring this side and that side. So you all know that simple work and all. So here n will get 30. So number of terms in this AP 30. So what is our conclusion? Question is 
how many two digit numbers are divisible by 3 total 32 digit numbers are divisible by 3 so 3 in the divide ago two digit number gala sankhe is to question so the answer is 30 got the idea of this problem no students yes so here they may ask different 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 number so that you have to form ap first then you have to find out the number of terms in the given ap yes next next question is example 8 find the 11th term from the last term okay find the 11th term from the last term so of the ap 11th term we have to find out but not from the beginning from the last term so hindugade the last in the navin barbeku 11th term ge bandu reach aagbeku okay so then how to find out that problem actually find the 11th term from the last term of the ap 10 7 4 so on up to minus 62 so now we have to start to search the number from minus 62 so now minus 62 we have to take it as a first term so in the first term then second term we have to write third term from the last term we have to write the 11th term understand the question properly so there are two two methods to find out actually uh, the 11th term from the last term so you can choose any one i think you have saw the uh, solution textbook solution first method you have got the idea no first method for that 10 7 4 so on up to minus 62 first we have to find out number of terms in this ap number of terms in this ap we have to work out so if you got the number of terms then alinda ni ulta bartha hogbodu avaga exact 11th position alli last in the 11th position alli yav number ide anadanna neevu work out maadbodu so we will glance both the method afterwards you just decide which one is easy okay so first first method a is equal to 10 here from the beginning actually a is equal to 10 and difference in this AP is 3. Okay, 7 minus 10 is minus 3. Then 4 minus 7 is minus 3. Difference is minus 3 here. And L, what is L here? L stands for the last term of the AP. Okay, small l indicates that last term of the AP. L is equal to minus 62. So, L in the sense, again, last term in the sense, nth term or general term. So, an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So, l use maadidare. Don't confuse. Idi aadho vasa formula vantan. No. l in the sense an or last general term. Okay. l is equal to a plus an minus 1 into d. So, we will move on to the next page. Okay. Yes. So, to find the 11th term from the last term, we will find the total number of terms. Okay, total number of terms in the AP. First, we have to find out total number of terms in the AP. So, last term is minus 62. Then, first term is 10. Then, n minus 1 into difference is minus 3. After the simplification, we got the idea that in the given AP, there are 25 terms. So, there are 25 terms in the AP. The 11th term from the last will be 25 in the barbek wapas. 25 in the bandre. 11th place ali yeshne term kutkodate. Nivadana wapas calculation marta bandaga. Yen sigate nimge actually 15th term. So, note that it will not be 14th term. 14th term agli ke sadhya ila. So, 25th in the bandit. 25 terms in the end, right? Ulta bar kolta bar veku. 25. 25th term is first term. Next to 24th term is second term. 23rd term is third term. Like that, when you comes, no? So, then you can notice that 15th term is the 11th place. So, that's why A15 we have to work out. A15. So, then A15 is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D again using the same general form. So, here 10 minus 42 that is minus 32. 
So this is one method. Another one method is very simple. So we have to take the AP in the last form only. So last number is minus 60, no? So from that only we have to find out the 11th term, no? So what we have to do actually, I just this. One second. Okay, see here. So in the given AP, A is equal to minus 62. So A is equal to, we are taking the last term only, first term. Because from the last term, we have to find out the 11th term. No? So that's why we are choosing this A is equal to minus 62. And difference is 3. So difference is 3 here. So then what we have to do? A11 we have to find out. Usually from the first term, what steps we are taking actually? A will take and difference will take and which term we need for that we will use the general form. A11 bekoondhandre A plus N minus 1 into D. Okay. Or A11 bekoondhandre you can also think that A plus 10 D also you can use. General form you have to keep it in mind. Okay. So first term is A. Second term is A plus D. A third term is A plus 2 D. Hagadre A 11th term is A plus 10 D. You can use that A plus 10 D also to find out the 11th term of the AP. So now we are using A 11 is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. So here A value is minus 62 plus N is 11 minus 1 into difference is 3. That is equal to here also from this method also we got the same to same answer minus 32. So this is a simple method now. So when AP is given from the last term we have to find out any term. So then we have to take the last term only first term. So then we have to take the difference properly. So then we have to use the general term of the AP. Got the idea of this problem students? Yes. Okay. So next is. I think you have got the idea of this problem right now. It's okay. Just in one minute, I'll explain this one. A sum of rupees 1000 is invested at 8% simple interest per year. Calculate the interest at the end of each year. Do these interest form an AP? First, we have to check whether it forms an AP or not. If so, find the interest at the end of 30 years making use of this fact. Okay, a sum of rupees 1000 is invested at 8% simple interest per year, simple interest. Calculate the interest at the end of each year. So we all know the simple interest formula, PTR divided by 100. I is equal to PTR divided by 100. So the interest at the end of first year, so that is principal is 1000, rate of interest is 8%, then time is first one year, first uh, in the sense one we have to substitute, that is uh, divided by 100, then we will get rupees 80. So then if we continue same procedure for the second year and third year, we will get the answer 160 and 240. So similarly we can obtain fourth year, fifth year, so on. So just observe 80, 160, 250. So what we are observing actually, whether it forms an AP or not, you have to give the answer. Whether it forms an AP or not, 80, 160, 240. Yes, do it forms an AP? AP form Marta ideally? Yes, here we got our next page. So it is an AP as the difference between the consecutive terms is 80. Yes, of course, 80, 80, 80, 80. Okay, so that's why it forms an uh, AP. So then what we have to find out actually at the end of 30 years they are asking actually. So that is A30 we have to find out. A30 interest, 30 years the interest namki is to see the so then A30 we have to find out. First year interest 80, second year interest 160, third year interest like that we continue now. So what is the interest we will get at the 30 years? That is A30 we have to find out. So they used actually A plus N minus 1 into D to get A30. You can use A30 is equal to A plus 29 D also. Same to same here also we will get that only. 
Okay, simplest form A30 is equal to A plus 29D. So that is 2400. So 30 year interest is 2400. Okay, got the idea now of this problem? Simple question now. Okay, so this is the last example problem. In a flower bed, there are 23 rows plants in the first row. In a flower bed, there are 23 rows plants in the first row. First row, there are 23 rows plants there. 21 in the second row. Second row, there are 21. 19 in the third row and so on. One flower bed is there. There is a neat arrangement. So, first row, there are 23 rows there. 21 in the second row there and 19 in the third row there. So, there are 5 rows plants in the last row. So, got the idea now? First row there are 23 rose plants. Second, they have arranged 21. And in the third row, they have arranged 19. So, in the last row, actually 5 rose plants. Then what we have to find out? So, how many rows are there in the flower bed? Hagadre, yes, 2 rows is there. You can easily guess the answer, no? 23, 21, 19. So, the last row is 5 in the sense how many rows are there in the flower bed. So, where we are using this type of general term, are you getting the idea? So, why we need this general term? Actually, in the general term, you will need 23, 21, 19. So, next is 5 by 3. So, you can maintain the difference in the maintain mark on work on doing it. Next time, you can count mark the number of the number. But here, no need to do that method. We have general term of the AP. For, first of all, it forms an AP, right now. So, the number of rose plants in the first, second, third rows are 23, 21, 19, so on up to 5. So, then what we have to find out actually, number of rows in the flower bed, n we have to find out. For that, so we have to use a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So, a is 23, difference is uh, minus 2, then a n is 5 because last row, final row is 5 uh, rows plants, okay. So, that's why we are taking a n is equal to 5, then a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d, a n is 5. That is equal to 23 plus n minus 1 into minus 2. So, after the calculation, n is equal to 10. So, we can observe the 10 rows in the flower bed. Okay. Got the idea of this example problem, no students? Now, I will give one minute time. So, if you are having any confusion regarding this topic, you can discuss. Okay. Otherwise, we will move on to the exercise problem. I think we can discuss exercise uh, uh, up to fifth or sixth problem now for today. Is it heavy for you? No, no. Okay. Yes, now I got the meeting warning also, last five minutes meeting warning. So, if the meeting ends, you just join with the same link for further 15 to 20 minutes because time is just 10.35. So, we all are in the fresh mode now. So, we can discuss the exercise part also. Yes, now just uh, I'm going to stop the recording version because we have to discuss something. Now.